853. All people that on earth do dwell, sing to the Lord with cheerful voice. Him serve with mirth, his praise forth tell. Come we before him and rejoice. Know that the Lord is God indeed. Without our aid he did us make. We are his folk, he does us feed. And for his sheep he does us take. O oh, enter then his gates with praise. Approach with joy his court son too. Praise Lord and bless his name always, for it is seemly so to do. For why the Lord our God is good, his mercy is forever sure. His truth at all times firmly stood, and shall from age to age endure. To Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the God whom heaven and earth adore, from us and from the angel host, be praise and glory evermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs to your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham. For I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, On your part, and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he was wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, 
He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we know, we, now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died, or the prophets, who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing, but it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say, He is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, you are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. All right. So today we have encounter with God, we have the first reading from Genesis where Abraham, or God makes his covenant with Abraham that tells him he will be the descendant of many nations, and so, so he is. And then we have also, we have Jesus who says that he is from God and, and that he is connected to God. Um, and this is the, um, of course, uh, the, John, the Gospel of John reveals the, uh, the faith of the early church, of how they came to understand who Jesus was after the resurrection. Um, so this, these are pronouncements of faith that, they, that the early, early church had. So um, we have that question of our encounter with God. And the... Um, Basically, um, to, to state it as simply as possible, that, um, that we encounter God and God is within us, right? So that idea of we are, we encounter God and, and we call that divinization, that when one associates with God, that one becomes part of God. We do not, we're not God, but we become part of God. Um, so, yeah, that's something for us to start reflecting upon when we start the first and second grade, I'm sure. <laughs> so, um, so, as we prepare for these holy days, right, we're going to have Palm Sunday this Sunday where we give out palms, and then next week uh, we won't have Mass on Thursday morning, nor Friday morning, nor even Saturday morning, because we'll have... The, uh, we'll begin our Holy Triduum, our Holy Three Days, the holiest time of the year for us as Christians. Holy Thursday, we'll gather together for the Mass of the, the Lord's Supper. And then on for Good Friday, we'll have Stations of the Cross and the, um, the, the, the Liturgy of Good Friday. And then leading on to Easter or Saturday night at 830, wait for the sun to go down. We celebrate the Easter Vigil. So these are the days when... Remember how Jesus died and, and rose from the dead 
and, and it makes sense after he rose from the dead what, what he is saying today, that he is from God and he reveals God to us and he is God. Now stand and we offer our prayers. Pray for the church, pray for our Pope Francis, our Bishop Oscar, all bishops and church leaders. We pray to the Lord. Pray for all leaders of nations that we work to bring about true peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our community of faith, especially as we end Lent and begin Holy Week. We pray to the Lord. We continue to pray for peace in Eastern Europe and Ukraine. Russia, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our diocese as uh, the priests gather together for the Chrism Mass tonight, for the cathedral, as well as all those who want to attend. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, we offer you our prayers this morning for our hearts through your love. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become the bread of life. Bless God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive this wine we offer, you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. Intention for this morning's Mass is for Ella Sostek and the intentions of Robert and Teresa Kapp. Pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, I'm the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son, I the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be through all of us. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. With him, he has given us all things. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace. Close with 487. 487. Again, we keep this solemn fast, a gift of faith from ages past, this Lent which binds us lovingly to faith and hope and charity. The law and prophets from of old in figured ways this Lent foretold, which Christ, all ages, Lord and God, in these last days has sanctified. More sparing, therefore, let us make 